In the day-to-day -day management of this store, if I need to edit a product, I usually go into the edit product page of a product by clicking the edit button. Here you have access to update various pieces of information regarding this product, like the price. Let's say I want to update this to $700. I click update and there you go. This product is now selling for $700 on my storefront. This process though isn't ideal if you need to update information on a number of products. A slightly quicker way of getting about updating numerous product prices is to go into the products page. And if you look up on top of this area here, you'll notice that there's a section called display. And in fact, there is a checkbox option for price. And I'm going to check that and hit go. It's going to reload the products area and it's going to list out all the products in my store. And as you can see, there's a new column here called price and it lists out all the prices to all of the products in my store. I could more rapidly update all the prices of all of the products in my store by staying on this page and instead of clicking on the edit button, I'll just click on the edit here button. I'll make my change, hit update, and I'll move on to the next product. Make my change, update, and so on and so forth. But let's say you have a much larger inventory of products and you need to update all of them, but even this method is a little slow for you. Let's explore the import and export utilities found in the utilities area of the Miva Merchant Store Admin. This will allow you to export a flat file of the products in your store and you'll be able to edit them in a spreadsheet format and re-upload them when you make all of your changes. You actually have two options for acquiring a flat file so that you can work on products. One method allows you to download a fresh file with no product information in it. The other method allows you to download product information of products that already exist in your store and you'll be able to edit and add to that file as needed. Let's show you how to download an empty flat file. First, click on the plus sign next to the word utilities on the left hand side of your Miva Merchant Admin. Once the branch expands, you want to click on the import data link. Look for the line item called add update products from CSV. Here it is right here. You have the option of downloading either a CSV file, which stands for comma separated value or an XLS, which is an Excel file. I'm going to download the CSV. Just click on this link here and save the file to your computer. Once the file is saved to your computer, you want to open it up in your spreadsheet program of choice. You could use Excel, but I have a Mac and I personally don't like Microsoft products. So I'm going to open this up in numbers, which is basically Apple's version of Excel. So this is what the flat file looks like. Each row represents a potential new product that I can add to the store. I just fill in the information as it pertains to each column and save this file and I get imported back into my test store. Let's walk through the steps of exporting existing products from your store and we'll use that flat file to update existing products and I'll add some new products as well. In the Miva Merchant Admin, click on the plus sign next to the word utilities. Click the plus sign for export data and we're going to click into export products to flat file. Here I could name the file whatever I want. I'm going to have the system email it to my email address. I want to make sure that this checkbox is selected because I want to know what each column represents. I'm going to choose to select all products. 
And you also have the option to include in the flat file any of these options down here. I'm going to leave them out and I'm going to click on export. The system is going to email it to my email address and I'll pick it up. Here it is. Let's open this up with the numbers. And here's a flat file that already has information in it. Let's say I want to look at, take all of these guitars and I want them to be $700, not $6.99. So let's say I get a new shipment of kazoos and I want to add them all to my store. The first thing you're going to do when you're adding a new product to your store is you have to define what their product code is. You also have to define a product name. So let's start with the first column for product code. And I'm going to call them CAS and I'm going to give this one a numeral. Let me just drag that down. Okay, so I have 17 new kazoos. And they're all going to be $200. So let me find the column for price. Here it is. They all weigh one pound. And they're all going to be taxable. Now, this is a kind of a binary, either yes or no. It's either taxable or it's not. And if it's taxable, you'll see a numeric one here. And if it's not, you'll see a zero. These happen to be taxable. So I'm gonna add ones to them. And also they're gonna be active. Again, one means they are, and zero means they're not. If they're not active, they're not gonna display in your store anywhere. I want to sell them, so yes. They will display my store. Everything's looking great. I'm going to save my work and let's upload this back into my store. Back in the admin, you want to go into the plus sign for utilities and you want to look for the area called import data. Once we're here, you want to look for the add slash update products from CSV option. Click into that. And you'll notice this page also has a dashed box, which you can drag and drop your file to. You could also click the browse button and browse to the location on your computer of the file that you want to work with. But I actually like to just drag and drop. So that's what I'm going to do. You can see there's a report going on on top. I can see that the record has processed 64 separate products. The record created 17 new products. Those are my 17 new kazoos. And the record also updated 47 products. Those are the products that pre-existed in that spreadsheet. It also reports that none of them were skipped and it had no problems working with any of the rows in my flat file. The log also reports that the importing process started and was completed and it gives a timestamp. I'm going to go ahead and click on the close button to close this out and let's go back into our products area to have a look at the work we've done. I'm going to click on the price display here. I'm going to click go. And as you can see, I have new kazoo products and they're all listed at $200 a piece. And furthermore, I updated all my $699 guitars to being $700. And I did all of that using the flat file method.